Hello everybody, my name is Izzy and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking all about changing majors and how I did it and how you can do it as well and how I felt like I really wanted to change majors. So did you like that little intro there? I just made it a couple days ago and thought I'd try it out. So yeah, changing majors. It is scary and exciting and overwhelming, that's for sure. So I'm going to give you kind of a quick backstory on how I knew I wanted to change majors. So right now, I'm only a sophomore in college. In fact, I'm almost done with my sophomore year. So I wanted to change majors last semester. So I was a freshman. I went to Columbia College Chicago. I was going there for film. And I still love film. Obviously, I love film. I mean, I make YouTube videos all the time and I enjoy that so much. So I can still get my film fixed by making and editing YouTube videos. But yeah, I was going to film school then. I kind of wanted to be like a director and it still would be super fun to incorporate that into like my future job, I think. And I'll get more into that later, but I just don't see it as a career anymore. But yeah, so I wanted to go into directing and film. So I went to Columbia College Chicago in downtown Chicago for my entire freshman year. And there was no problem then. I had no, you know, idea that I wanted to change majors. I was, you know, still loving film. I want to stick with this. I want to do this. Then sophomore year came around and I don't know what happened over the summer or during like the first week of classes. Like I was making YouTube videos too about how my emotional first week of classes and I'm not feeling so well and <laughs> that sounded like the meme. But how I wasn't feeling well at all and something just changed inside my head like I don't want to do film as a career anymore. I enjoy it more as a hobby. I'm like, well, why? You know, I still like doing it, but like, I guess I just didn't want to do it like under everybody else's control. I like doing it on my own. Like YouTube, you have so much creative freedom and I love that about that. And so that's why I continue to make YouTube videos. And so, yeah, I realized I didn't want to be a film major anymore and I was already started my sophomore year and I already paid everything the down payments and I already started my first week of classes and paid for all my dorms so there was no way I could back out this semester luckily it was still the first week so I changed a bunch of my classes I was only taking one film class I was originally taking like a six credit directing class I was taking a digital image and processing class and so I switched that to just world cinema and I was taking two science classes as well. I was taking animal behaviors and I was taking environmental science. And those were my favorite classes of the semester, that is for sure. And they kind of made me realize I really like science. And like especially to do with like animals and things like that. And I also took natural disasters my freshman year. I loved that class. It was so much fun to learn about hurricanes the whole time. And so I started to realize I don't want to do film. And then the biggest thing that really tipped me off like, hey, I don't want to do film anymore was when I was looking to do like a study abroad type thing I always wanted to study abroad and so I was looking into what programs they had and where they were and everything and I realized like all the ones that I was looking for were animal related like animal rescue conservation you know helping the earth type stuff and like they weren't in like any big cities like I wanted to do like Australia I would still love to go to Australia but I wanted to go there to help animals and conservation and things like that I'm like wow I'm not looking for any study abroad opportunities that are like film related at all and that's my major I should probably want to do that but I wanted to do all animal related ones and so that's when it really clicked for me like hey you don't have to be stuck with film you can change your major to whatever you want and it's never too late to change your major I was lucky enough to want to do it like early in my sophomore year so I'm not like graduating with a degree I don't want or anything but it's never too late to change majors and so I started to like get all freaked out like hey I'm already here at film school and how am I going to tell my parents how am I going to tell my roommates it was starting to get so overwhelming and like where am I going to do next what major do I want to do like I know it's something with animals and it was like high school all over again you know finding which college you want to go to what you want to major in so that is why I took this semester right now to just be at home and figure out what I want to do figure out which major I want and which school I want to go to and right now I'm just doing a whole bunch of gen eds so they will transfer no matter what and they will be fine and so I'm still in the middle of deciding which colleges I want to go to next but I do have a pretty good idea on what major I want and where I want to go but I'm not going to reveal that yet but it's in like animal field like zoology and field biology that's all I'm going to say about that but that is what I'm changing my major to so telling my parents was very hard and they were helping me out and being so supportive with film school and like I'm from a tiny town and I'm moving all the way to downtown Chicago. They were worried about me. I was worried for myself and like, hey, 
I don't want to do this anymore, telling them that was super hard. And so I just kind of lightly put it on them, like I was telling them about how bad my first week of classes was going and how I wasn't really enjoying some of my film classes and like I brought up the idea that I loved my science classes and I just kind of slowly brought it on them and didn't just go straight out like, hey, I want to change majors because I just don't know how I would be able to do that. But yeah, I slowly brought it up to them and then they came around to the idea of it and luckily they were so supportive about like everything in my future. The biggest thing for them, you know, they want me to be happy and that should be the biggest thing for you too. Do not settle with something you are unhappy with. That is why you're going to college, to find a career you love. I think finding a career you love is more important than the money or anything, as long as you're happy. Because you're going to be doing this the rest of your life, most likely, and being stuck with something you do not want would be like a nightmare. So it's never too late to change majors. And even if your parents aren't supportive about it, it doesn't matter. It is your life, not theirs. Go after your dreams, like for real, I can't stress that enough. Go after your dreams and change majors, it is not too late. But yeah, they were super supportive about it and they're like, well, what do you want to do? I'm like, well, I think I'll finish out the semester here and just take my classes and then come home, you know, for a semester and just figure out what I want to do because it was already too late in the year to find out which college I wanted to go to next and which major, you know, I want to choose right away. And I think that, you know, community college is so underrated. I probably should have gone there for my first semesters or so, but I didn't know that I was going to want to change majors. So, you know, if you're pretty set on something, you never know, it could change, but it might not, and you might, you know, really love going to this other school. Never be too ashamed to, like, even go back to community college, and that's what I did, and I'm super happy about this decision because I'm saving so much money by going here, and I'm taking 18 credits, so I'm getting a whole bunch of my gen eds out of the way, and it's just a really good decision. And, you know, just really follow your passion. Don't be afraid about what others say about what you want to major in. It's not too late. To, I keep saying that. It's not too late to change, but that's because it's really important. Even, you know, if you're a senior, if you're not going to be happy with the degree you got, then change it. Like, that's so important happiness in life, and I really just can't stress that enough as well. If you're not going to be happy with something, then change it. You don't want to be stuck with something you're not happy with. But yeah, when I first decided I wanted to change majors, you know, I kept continuing it out until about October. You know, I realized it in September. I waited about a month, and you know, once I was really sure that I wanted to do it, I let my school know I wasn't going to be coming back next semester. They were asking, you know, a whole bunch of things like, why, where are you going instead, and I had to fill out all those kind of things. So then they hooked me up with being able to move out, and I was done there. That was it. And it's so weird to say that I'm not going to school in Chicago anymore, and I'm not 100% sure where I'm going to next. But yeah, it's, it's super exciting, and it feels so good to just not be stuck with something I don't really want to do. And I still want to, like, minor in film if I can, because, like I said, I still love it. And if I can, you know, use all my credits towards a minor, that would be great so they're not wasted. And I was super worried about them not transferring like these are film credits with like you know acting and directing and filmmaking and how are they going to transfer to schools that don't really have a big filmmaking program but surprisingly to both the schools that I applied to I'm down to two that I really want to go to both of them accepted all of my credits and I was like what how did they accept all my credits yeah a lot of them are just like general and would count as electives but they transfer so they weren't wasted money they weren't wasted time so you don't really need to worry about that because schools are so good today with taking transfer credits and you can even go and talk with like the advisors and like admissions people there to try to get more of your credits to transfer if they're not and what I'm gonna try to do with all of my elective film credits is make a minor out of it and sometimes colleges are really lenient on that sometimes they're not but I'm gonna talk to them and try to make a minor out of all of those credits and incorporate some of the ones that they have there as well because both schools have like a film studies minor not the same as like filmmaking but I would really just love to use my credits and have you know the minor that says filmmaking basically because I think that would look really good on my resume and I don't want to just waste them but what I'm trying to say is talk to your colleges about your credits and see if you can, you know, make a minor out of it. Sometimes they're lenient, sometimes they're not, but it's definitely worth a chance. You don't want them to just go wasted. But I mean, even if they count as electives, it's not wasted. But yeah, colleges today are so good about that and I was so surprised and they take so many transfer credits and like the whole process was just like, wow, this is, this isn't too bad. And so many other people do it, it's crazy. Like once I brought up, you know, that I wanted to do it, other people were telling me stories about people they know. And it just turns out that it's more common than I thought, like way more common. You know, it's not rare to change majors. It's not weird. So yeah, if you want to, then definitely go for it. 
So yeah, I think I covered just about everything I wanted to say. I've been blabbing on for about 10 minutes now, and if you have any other questions or anything at all you want to say to me about this or ask me, please let me know in the comment section and I'd be super happy to get back to you on that. And if you did enjoy this video and found it helpful, also consider subscribing to my channel. I have tons of other college videos and college advice videos, you know, so check them out. I'll have a few of them linked in the description. But yeah, that is about it though, so thank you for watching.